What's going on everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood gamer PTK Blam back in the building with another lit video. How you guys doing today? It is a beautiful Wednesday. How's everybody uh, feeling today? It's hump day, you know, halfway through the week. So hopefully everybody's having a good productive week. But I am back with another video with some big news here today. This video, not this video, sorry, but this information just dropped today, gamers. I am on top of it. I am on top of it. You guys know I don't always do these like weekly videos, but when there's some news that I'm very interested in, I am absolutely going to have my ass in the seat recording this audio for sure. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about Red Dead Redemption 2. So they just announced today, Rockstar just posted, I believe a few hours ago this morning, that they were going to be doing a gameplay reveal for Red Dead Redemption 2 tomorrow. Now, I didn't get the exact time. Uh, I will put it in the... It'll actually be in a video. It'll be the background of the video here. You guys will be able to see the official post from Rockstar. That way you can watch it. I'm assuming they're going to stream it, maybe. Maybe it'll be just like a short two-minute trailer or a short, you know, two or three-minute gameplay clip. I don't know if it's going to be like a, a, a something they live stream. I'm not entirely sure, but I am hype as fuck. Just due to the fact that I am a big fan of Red Dead Redemption. Okay, the, the first one I was a huge fan of. I got it out in my game room right now. So I, I have that game. I actually went and bought it again. Just be, when I heard Red Dead Redemption 2 was coming out. I went back and bought the first one. Just because I loved it so much. Um, also, the fact, guys, is that we didn't see anything for Red Dead Redemption 2 at E3 at all. Now, I think they were saying that there was being some gameplay behind scenes maybe just for the press i'm not entirely sure and i don't know how accurate that information is so don't quote me on that but there was really nothing for any of us that was one of the things that i had hoped to see at e3 either on microsoft stage or at sony stage more so sony because they clearly have the marketing rights for the game this time around um i believe they do yeah i'm pretty sure they do so i don't know what's going on and i don't know what happened at e3 i'm not i wasn't entirely sure a lot of us um, we're really, really shocked that we didn't see any footage. We didn't see anything from it. Not a screenshot, not a release date, not anything. So the fact that they are now announcing that they're going to be doing a full gameplay reveal tomorrow um, is f f fantastic. I'm super excited, super happy. How are you guys feeling? Now, me, my boy Fuzzy, my boy Jarhead, I've been on Twitter. I've been in the DMs. We've been talking, kind of throwing some ideas around about what we may see tomorrow, what kind of expectations we are going to be having. Now, he's trying to, Fuzzy's trying to temper his expectations. I said, fuck all that. I am super hyped for this game. I want them to blow the door off this bitch. Now, I mean, I because this is Rockstar and because they're one of the, the largest, one of probably top two video game makers as far as like publisher companies outside of like EA and Rockstar, um, they I'm expect I have huge expectations. I have very very high expectations. I can't I can't lie. Some of the things that I'm hoping to see. Um, I just found out recently also that this game is going to be a prequel, which I did not know before. So that helps kind of bring everything together but what, what i'm hoping for huge expansive world far bigger world than red dead redemption 2 um train heist or robberies you, you'd be able to get together with maybe a group of people on co-op maybe multiplayer train heist type situation where you pull off a big train heist kind of like gta you know robbing the bank cops and robbers type situation uh, i'm also looking for a more fleshed out story since it is a prequel hopefully we get to see some more of the background story of the main character in the game and where he came from his beginnings you know how he became to be who he is that type of thing there was always like little flashbacks here and there but we know now officially that the game was set prior to like 10 or 11 years prior to red dead the first red dead redemption so i'm really happy about that um shout out to the boy fuzzy he actually put out a really really cool theory essentially um, not necessarily a theory, but you know, just maybe like a wish list of what he hopes to see. It was almost Sims like, you know, he said it would be really cool if they elaborated on like the family aspect. Maybe you could go find a piece of land since it's going to be a huge open world game and you could plot the land. You could claim the land. Like maybe there's only certain parts on the map that you can claim. Maybe there's like just free areas of the map. You could find a, ni a nice spot and claim the area and then maybe start like a ranch or a hideout or something. That would be dope as fuck if there were like designated parts of the map that you could just claim as a piece of your land. Like, you know, maybe there's eight or nine, eight to ten spots on the map, you know, depending on how big it is that you could claim and say, hey, this is my piece of land. I'm going to start my life here. You know, maybe I get a ranch. Maybe I can, you know, when I, this, that's my hideout. You know, maybe when I, I, you know, I'm going out doing side missions, I can always come back and save the game and, 
you know, check my inventory, refresh my horses, all kind of cool shit. And another thing that I was hoping for too, if you never played Red Dead Redemption 1, the Undead Nightmare DLC was fucking phenomenal. I'm hoping they somehow, some way, some form, bring that back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it would be a really cool add-on. The first game was phenomenal. That piece of DLC was amazing. It was incredibly fun. If you guys never got a chance to play it, it added a lot of replayability to the first Red Dead Redemption. If you have not played it, go back and play it. It's pretty, pretty, I'm pretty sure you can find it really cheap right now. Go back and play it. Hopefully they do something like that for this one. Maybe it'll be on the first set of DLC to come out, you know, once the game is fully released. Who knows? Nonetheless, though, I am super excited about this. You guys let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about the game. What are your expectations? What are some of the things you're hoping to see from Rockstar tomorrow in that gameplay reveal? Now, once again, I don't know how long the reveal is going to be, but I'm hoping that it's fairly lengthy so that we can get a nice you know, six, seven, eight minute clip of some good gameplay. We can break it down, go over it. This will definitely be a topic on the shop podcast this Saturday, guys. Um, but that's pretty much it today, guys. I just wanted to put this video out, get you guys first reaction on what you guys thinking about the news, what are your expectations, so on and so forth. So thank you for your continued support on the channel. Please drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, guys. My goal by the end of this year is 1500 subscribers i'm already sitting at i think 1023 1024 so let's make a big push share the video if you guys enjoy the content i thank you guys so much for the support we got a lot of great things coming up the podcast this weekend will be lit as fuck once again the shop podcast live 5 p.m pacific time every saturday be there be square this week we got two guests on i've already announced the guests on twitter so if you don't follow me on twitter follow me there that's why you guys know ahead of time what the who the guests will be for the week so once again i am out of here it's your friendly neighborhood gamer blam i'm out